Talking about the environment, experts have expressed concern at the rate of deforestation across the country. In Katsina alone, it is estimated that close to 10 hectares of trees has been lost to unfriendly environmental practices between year 2021 and 2023. But this is why activists have organized a one-day climate action summit to review the enormity of this challenge. Abdul Latif Yusuf has details and we'll be back with business news. The increase in heat waves, desertification and draining water levels have continued to signal more serious effects of climate change, especially in the north. Kazana is getting its fair share of the problem due to its proximity to the Sahara region and the increased population and demand for cheaper sources of energy. This group of non-governmental organizations are here in Kazana to once again sensitize the population on the environmental threats the region faces if this situation prevails. Our citizens call to action on climate change. Already the climate is not happy with all of us. The weather is becoming aggressively hot. Flooding is anticipated in many states in the country. Katuna is not exceptional. Between the last two months to date, the weather has reached a peak of 43 degrees sometimes, and then it's not really friendly. So the objective of this gathering today, we discussed um, our collective actions. Falling of trees in this part of the country has not only increased most recently, but significantly contributed in exposing the entire land to multiple environmental defects. Some experts have even attributed the hike in prices of fuel and gas for the increased demand for firewood for domestic use. How do we must invite this habit of planting of trees. I'm not talking of uh, annual uh, tree pl planting campaign. I'm not talking about it because it's just a, a celebration. So I think it is better for all of us to understand that this project, planting of trees, is not specifically designed for a particular set of people, maybe government, maybe NGOs or something like that. Everybody has a stake and you must ensure that everybody whether a Christian, regardless to your religion or to your belief or to any, anything, we must ensure that we plant trees. The One Day Summit has been able to portray issues at stake and reach the solutions to champion massive tree planting and stoppage of indiscriminate felling of trees. Recent weather forecast by the Nigeria Meteorological Agency indicates there will be more severe weather challenges if right measures are not taken. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Kazana.